Building agents in Microsoft 365 Copilot still is a challenge for many enterprise users today. And this is an area of focus that I want to assist all of you with, as well as provide you an agent that you can leverage to analyze your document and presentation content. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris, and I am a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. As a part of our agent building experience, in this particular video, I want to educate all of you on how to approach building agents, creating system instructions, and the mentality around how you should approach agent building within your own work processes. So let's start off with the mentality of building agents, and this will assist you with identifying the type of agents that you want to build, as well as if you even need an agent within your experience. The way I approach agent building today, I look at the work that's around me that I do constantly. Am I constantly searching online for some form of research? Am I building the same form of report every single week? with new and updated information. Those common recurring tasks that we perform in our work are great examples where agents can come in and augment our work process to save us time and give us some form of output that we can move forward with more quickly. A great example to this is I have an agent that I built to generate all of my YouTube content. So my agent will specifically generate my YouTube video titles, my descriptions, thumbnail taglines, all the materials that you see as a part of my videos are initially generated with an agent as a starting point because I have to create all of that material every single time I generate a video and publish it to all of you. So my recommendation is look at that work that you perform all the time, constant recurring structured tasks, and create an agent to see if it can assist you with augmenting that overall process. Now moving on into our demonstration, I want to provide all of you an agent that will analyze your Word documents and your presentations to provide you feedback and recommendations on how to modify those presentations or materials, make them more efficient and give you creative recommendations on how to move forward. And this will give you a structured approach on how I specifically generate all of my system instructions within my agents. So starting off, I'm in the Copilot web chat experience. This is available to all licensed and unlicensed users today within Microsoft 365 enterprise subscriptions. And in this particular chat experience, I'm going to prompt. Our goal is to create system instructions I can provide an LLM powered agent to leverage modern best practices for analyzing Word documents and PowerPoint presentations and assisting with refining the content along with providing recommendations overall. And we receive our response. Now, update the prompt to be more personally aligned to your context and your scenarios. In this case, I'm just doing this for Word documents and PowerPoint presentations. I review the system instructions that it provides. I see things like emojis and such. I would prompt a little bit more to refine this, make it easier to read, more structured, include any additional aspects or remove anything I don't think I require, and then move forward in my process. And this is where I would take that initial set of system instructions and expand on it even further. Now, for my brainstorming purposes to brainstorm an actual set of system instructions I can provide to all of you, you'll see that in the link in the description below, I'm going to leverage the researcher agent. And the researcher agent will allow me to do deeper research in this task work that I have at hand. Now, in this case, I'm prompting the researcher agent to become a prompt engineering expert and content creator. And I want to align its goal to the contextual materials and requirements that I provide, as well as I've copied and pasted the system instructions that I got from my initial Copilot chat experience. I think it's important to note some of the requirements that I've included here. I love to use chain of thought style prompting, sort of like step-by-step -step building of what I want this particular agent to do. And you can use this in the normal AI assistant as well, general co-pilot experiences. I'm telling it to research prompt engineering best practices, research best practices for creating agent system instructions, 
how to work with Microsoft 365 Copilot agents. And then I want to, to build knowledge of two system instructions that I wanted to provide back to me. A set of inst uh, system instructions that would include fillable fields and then like a sample scenario set of system instructions that we will live leverage uh, later on in this video. So let's watch this build and see how it works. Now, after about five to 10 minutes or so, we receive our initial output from the researcher agent, and it's sectioned the materials off, aligned to the best practice information that it's gone out and researched, and then leveraged in order to assist us with generating agent instructions. General note, if you're running any of these prompts that I provided via the link in the description below, most likely you will have some form of different output. While still aligned fairly close to what I'm showing here, yours almost guaranteed will be different. So I will provide the direct system instructions also in the link below, so you can just copy and paste and use the agent live like I'm about to show. And now we see here, it's built its system instructions template with fillable fields. We also do have a direct example aligned to an executive leader audience after this initial system prompt, so that way we can leverage specific persona examples and align context to that form of individual. So some great materials that you can pull out directly with Researcher. This is just to show my background approach on how I build initial system instructions with Copilot experiences to then help all of you move forward with your own approach as well. But please, again, approach it in your own way, what works, works best for you. Uh, this is just my initial take. Now what we're going to do is create our document and presentation analyzer agent. So within this business chat experience, I'm going to navigate to the create agent option here on the left side navigation. This will open up the natural language builder for agents. However, in this case, we're not really going to leverage the natural language chat-based capabilities, considering we already have all of the back-end system instruction information that we require, at least in this use case. So we'll navigate to the Configure tab, and we'll fill out these fields with the information that researcher gave us. All right, so we filled out all of our agent fields, the name, the description, the instructions. I've also used the create module to create a little icon to help brand the experience and further visualize the agent in my agent list. Let's go ahead and test the material. So as you see, I'm just in the main chat experience with the new content insights agent. Let's go ahead and submit a document and see the type of results that it gives us back. So our prompt will be, please extract a concise executive summary from this document. Focus on the key takeaways, strategic implications, and any decisions or recommendations that would matter to senior leadership. We then reference our document as well. In this case, I have a summary document for my Project Falcon document. This is just a sample demo. And we have our concise executive summary aligned with the tone and bullet list formats, as well as the key instructions that we have informed the agent to leverage as it outputs its information. We also have some key takeaways at the very end. Would you like a slide ready version of this summary or a deeper dive into any specific section? And it lists some of those out. We can keep the conversation going or we can start a new one and move on with any other form of document. Now in my next example, I'm going to initially start with the general chat experience, and then I'll show you how to inject agents into an already existing chat so you can then have more informed results aligned to your particular agent expectations. In this case, review the Project Falcon project summary document and provide an executive summary of the file content. I'll submit this off to the general AI assistant, 
and we receive our initial output. We have our executive summary with the vision and purpose, strategic pillars and current focus within that file content, milestones and timeline information, budget and resourcing, risk and change management, go-to market and adoption strategy information, and a conclusion. Now what I can do to have a more informed response based on the agent system instructions is I can at mention the agent directly in my prompting box, or I can click on the plus icon to chat with an agent in an already existing conversation. So I'll click on the add content and agents option, chat with an agent, and then I will select the content insights agent that we previously built. Now, instead of talking with the general assistant, we're talking specifically with an agent. So let's resubmit the same prompt and let's see what type of results it gives us back. General note as well, I do not need to reference the file again. It's already loaded within this particular conversation. So all I'll say is provide an executive summary of the file content. And now we see the response and you can easily tell the core differences in the way the agent output its information. Remember in this agent use case, we're aligned to an executive persona and have personalized the agent to, to that type of individual. So the way that it, the agent will output that information is going to be completely different as compared to the general AI assistant. We do have an initial executive summary, but then just some key highlights and strategic relevance. So it's not a full summary that may include additional information an executive may not want. It's further personalized to that core personality or persona so that the information and output is more refined. Very useful in this case. This is so cool. Now, the final experience here that I want to show is how you can also interact with agents within core Microsoft 365 productivity app experiences. As you see, I have that exact same summary document for Project Falcon open directly in Microsoft Word. And in Microsoft Word, I've opened up the Copilot sidebar chat experience. General note, this currently defaults to Copilot chat, where I can talk to the same general AI assistant only directly injected in my Word experience but I can also talk with agents, just like I showed in the previous demo example. If I navigate to the plus icon, I can ask an agent, and I can directly select my Content Insights agent, and I can prompt the exact same material to directly connect and talk to that specific agent experience. In this case, my prompt will be, provide an executive summary of this file. Now, it looks like the agent responded in a slightly different way, but that's still okay because it's aligned to the core system instructions that we've included. And it's included an executive summary aligned to our particular expectations that we've defined. So we can directly chat with and talk to agents integrated within these app experiences. So that way, if we need a specialist at our fingertips, we have direct access at all times through these productivity apps. If I want to stop talking with the agent as well, I can just click on the close option next to the agent name and go back to talking with the general AI assistant. And there we go. Now we can talk to the general AI. So that's all of the information I have to share with all of you for today. I very much appreciate your support and engagement as always. Please navigate into the description for all of the system instructions and prompting materials that I've included in this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I love interacting with this community. If you're not already subscribed, please join in so you can directly be notified as we release new updates, changes, new functionalities, and use case experiences to help benefit all of you. Like and share if you believe this information has been useful to you or may be useful to your colleagues as well. Thank you all so much for your time, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everybody.